Well, a very good evening to you. It is great to have you along for this much-anticipated game. And, of course, we want to get through it as promptly as possibly we can because, as you can see for yourself, there have been major weather issues today. The officials have made absolutely sure that it is safe, it's OK to go ahead. Nothing has been left to chance in terms of preparations. Those have been meticulous. And understandably, when you take into account these most testing of conditions, all of the efforts to ensure this game is played under normal conditions have been carried out and we hope for a proper game which reaches its conclusion. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Well, that was impressive. Match that. Jim C making a difference here. Yeah, Cristiano Ronaldo. I don't think there's any doubt he's one of the best around, Peter. Probably one of the best ever. He's an incredible physical specimen and a phenomenal goal scorer. You can't question his commitment and determination either. He's always in peak condition and he'll adapt his game to whatever role is requested of him. I think he's going to have a huge, huge impact on this team. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. So we're up and running. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes takes the long option. Throw it. And here's Cristiano, it's Cristiano Ronaldo! He's looking to get there first. And it's Cancelo. <laughs> oh, smart save! Shot a goal! It's off target and by quite a way. Ricardo Pereira certainly displayed his fine technique, but the keeper was never really in trouble. Tries to get it forward quickly. Bernardo Silva. Ricardo Pereira, Ricardo Pereira conjuring up some magic on the right-hand side. Bruno Fernandes, Guerrero is onto it and can take it up. And he's there to clear it. Could move up a gear here. Hoists it forward. Cristiano Ronaldo, and it's Guerrero. Portugal replying all the early pressure. Yeah, it's a good start, Peter, and they look hungry for goals, and they'll be aware of having to capitalise in such a good spell. And that has been cleared. He's gone for it! They've managed to get it away.
What a size of goal. Goes for goal. Dashing forward at pace. Bernardo Silva. If you have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. Bruno Fernandes. João Cancelo. He's got options out wide. Guerrero. Bruno Fernandes! He's going... Oh, that is asking for trouble. Bernardo Silva gets flagged offside. And it's played forward. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Bruno Fernandes tries to dink it in. Well read, he sorted that out. A little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Portugal just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. Guerrero going for goal! Away from immediate danger. And it's Guerrero. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Danilo Pereira. Danilo Pereira looks to clip it forward. That'll be a corner. it away, Christian tries a shot, and the follow-up, goal, Portugal, and Portugal score first, he was so alert to the possibilities there, great stuff, oh Peter you can't teach that, you either have it or you don't, his anticipation is on another level to everyone else's, superb, Portugal take the lead, 1-0, yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? He's made sure that that won't get through. And it's Danilo Pereira. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. You have to admire commitment like that, because he could ease... Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. And Rui Patricio somehow saves it. Bernardo Silva gets good distance on it. Goes for the cross. Jujak. Font did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Good challenge, he just stood firm. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. Jujak. Oh, well played, he needed to get that right. The ball's loose, and he's after it. Deflected over the goal line for a corner. Ruben Diaz with the clearance.
Guerrero goes on a charge down the left. João Cancelo. And helps available out wide. Now it's Jujak. That's clear cut. It's a free kick. And he is going into that little black book. He's got rid of that. And we hit half time. And here we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. So your views on the first half. Portugal deserve to be ahead and probably should be in front by more considering the amount of chances they've managed. Everything points to more of the same second half and a good solid win. Portugal, the happier of the teams, heading in for half time, 1 0 up. And the action has already resumed here. Portugal carrying a one goal lead. Well, no question as to who's winning the battle in midfield at the moment. Some very impressive pressing in place here. Yeah, he was on Hungary and for a free kick. And that has been clubbed away. Just brushed off the ball there. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Ricardo Pereira. Bernardo Silva, forward it goes, looking to break out here, goes long, and they're not going to make any further progress now. It's a good run down the left-hand side, and it's Guerrero. João Cancelo has come steaming up from the back for this, Guerrero. Cut out in the nick of time. Tries to get it forward quickly. No, no way through there. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes goes up and over. Defending of the desperate variety. Jujak dinks one in. Keeper's ball. Bruno Fernandes. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. And it's Bernardo Silva. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo with a beautifully timed run. <laughs> Hungary have it back and they can go again. Hoists it forward. Hungary are definitely going about this the right way. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. 
Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes looking to get on the end of this. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. And he's there to clear it. A wonderful effort all by himself. Well, the run was really impressive. The finish was depressive, and expectations were not met. Danilo Pereira. He's gone for it! It's there! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Portugal have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Ronaldo is now the subject of some adhesive marking. Yeah, and now that he scored, this defence is on high alert whenever he, he goes anywhere near the ball. Yep, it's a corner. Couple of changes then in quick succession. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put chance. Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Hungary are showing good urgency, but they have to place more emphasis on service into the box. Jack. Ricardo Pereira. Portugal still 2-0 up and looking now to see it through. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Bernardo Silva looking to run onto it. He's left his man. And the finish! Surely this time, they are rampant! And the lead is extended still further. Ronaldo was quick to move in. Keeper's handling wasn't great. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Portugal take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Gets away from his opponents. Shoots! Great football, shot and save. <laughs> Hungary are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, outstanding save. Found his man. That's found its target. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. Now this is a potential flashpoint and the referee has his hands full. challenge goes down but nothing given and that is that Portugal a class apart opponents torn apart they are comprehensive winners and after all of that Jim what are you thinking yeah we knew there was a sizable gap in the quality of both squads and, and the story was told in predictable fashion and with that it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening